how is it possible that we are on Friday of Customer Appreciation Week and we are on our last guest of the week? We, of course, saved the very best for last. Um, although I'm sure this gentleman is going to make me cry about six times in the next hour, we're going to make the mo most of it. Welcome, Neela Patel. How are you? <laughs> Hi, Sarah Ayler. I am great. It feels like the good old times. Um, I wish we were right next to each other instead of virtual um because you know it'd be one giant hugging fest and stuff and um yeah you know just on the softflex uh customer appreciation week bringing up the rear like usual <laughs> <laughs> Did i always tell my kids because you know they always want to be in front so i've always said the caboose has the most fun and so they always That's say true. that to me now <laughs> <laughs> All so, the fun kids always sat in the back seat of the bus. Right? The caboose <laughs> is the place to be. So this is the perfect spot for you. I was also saying to Kristen and Thomas, um, right before I, I came on with you, that you and Sam, I think, are just the perfect pair for Friday. You guys bring so much fun and levity and joy. And I just, I feel like you're just the perfect match to go on friday oh definitely yeah we're bringing the real friday vibes it's like having a cocktail without actually having a cocktail <laughs> but you could have a cocktail too if you wanted to <laughs> i could it's three o'clock here and i need to behave myself because i'm going to try and end friday on a high note <laughs> that's good I maybe love be that. lowbrow for the rest of the weekend but I i'm going to definitely that. try and just <laughs> so we do so have a giveaway uh, running, everybody. Again, this is the um, one of the last. We're going to have an after party, and we'll have another giveaway then. In fact, I have some extra of the dragonfly buttons that I think Ooh. I'm going to give away at the after party. So I hope you'll join us at 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern for that. I have three of them. They have a very slight chip on the back. It's, that's why I have them here. But I took the diamond glaze and I glazed it and you can't feel it. So I don't think it'll matter to anyone who ends up getting it now. Um, I mean, but also just look at that button. <laughs> it, I would want it. it was in our kit, Mile. Oh that was God. in our kit this time. Isn't it gorgeous? Are you even allowed to give away something that gorgeous? It looks look like that. it could fly up into Kristen's artwork. <laughs> it, like, yes, absolutely. The beautiful <laughs> blue background. <laughs> um, so we're doing a giveaway again. Uh, I hear that Sam got up to 175 in giveaway entries. I know Jill got up to 181, I think, was where she left off yesterday. So it's Neelay's chance now to beat on, Jill and Sam. And I know you can do it, Neelay. The Silkies round up. We got to get this together. We got to get over 200. We got to rub it up. So everybody who <laughs> loves Neelay's work, please click that like symbol or the thumbs up symbol wherever you're watching. And then share this video share it so we get as many eyeballs on it and then we can really up the giveaway and the higher we get if we get past 120 i'll do two giveaways if we get up to 175 or 181 then definitely three giveaways so you're going to unlock extra Ooh. giveaways the more people we can get entering you can only enter once it'll it's automatically counting you so don't bother putting it in twice or three times it only counts it once um, so you got to get as many people as possible to enter the giveaway to get more and more opportunities to win. Be sure to keep commenting that the hashtag is the giveaway for the new folks. Because once we get into the project, I'm sure we won't. And it's, I guess, scrolling at the bottom, You'll too. You'll scroll on the bottom the whole time. Totally. I got you covered, friend. Yeah, are good. Yeah. <laughs> um, before we get going, Neela and I were talking a little bit about uh, Mike, who's the uh, co-owner, co-founder of Softlix Company, passed away recently. And this has been a week-long celebration of a company that he helped to create and build. 
Um, and Neil had this really sweet little anecdote that he was telling me that I thought would be fun to share with all of you um, as we're keeping, you know, Mike and his family definitely in our hearts. Um, what was that that you were telling me, Neil? Um, it's a little bit of a story, but I'm, I'll try and be a, and as bridged as I can. But this was probably what circa 2012. 12, I want to say, uh, many years ago. And I remember when you had, and I had first, like, kind of got in contact with each other. It was our first travel opportunity to go to JTV and um, to do a little filming up there for the show. And I had not been on camera before. So that was, <laughs> the whole thing was new to me. I thought we were going to go film at a trade show, to be honest. And then I, I saw the studio and I was like, what the heck did I sign myself up for? Um, but luckily he you were there. To be a time with Nile, he doesn't pay attention to the details. <laughs> I really don't. I'm a big picture kind of guy and I'm yes. good at execution, but in that in-between stuff, no, don't even bother. Um, <laughs> I did bring my jewelry pieces. That was a bonus, mm -hmm. but we so sarah obviously got on cam and like killed the whole thing her presentation was great it was she was very well rehearsed practice me on the other hand after watching her i was trying to take some visual cues and notes but i couldn't quite figure out what i was doing and i it was my first time on cam so obviously i'm nervous and i didn't know the sensory overload of someone talking to you in your ears you know the production crew is there there's four different cameras that you got to look at and pay mm -hmm. attention to um, the heat of the lamps, it was, it's so much. And the hostess that's sitting there, like, just nonstop talking. <laughs> so, Sarah, I think whenever we were kind of done for the day, because it was like a, what, two, three hour day, maybe a little longer. Um, it might have been the time and I were books, too. Do you remember oh, that? Yeah. We had our books there. And yeah, we had it was like a five hour day. Wheels of them, and we were going mm -hmm. through and signing them. As fast as That's possible. That's right, because um, we were playing uh, Diana Ross during <laughs> during that. I remember we were we like, "What sort of vibe are we are we signing books with?" And I was like, "Diana Ross, duh." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we got finished, and we were both famished. And Sarah was like, "Poor guy, I'm gonna take you out <laughs> for a nice sushi dinner, and let's catch up with Mike and Scott." So I said, okay. Um, so she called Mike and Scott and got them on um, on the phone and they were, you know, um, on the voice, what's it called, the speaker phone. And so they, Scott was very encouraging as always, and very much um, light about the whole thing. Like you did great, even if you're nervous, it's no big deal. And then Mike um, said some very kind things as well, very encouraging. And then he gave me some points of critique and, <laughs> I think as I grow older, these points of critique um, not only resonate, but it's important because that's how you develop as a person and you learn from it. And so I've um, he, he had mentioned that I was calling one of the products completely incorrect in its size, <laughs> <laughs> um, which I was like, oh, my God, how can I forget that? And then um, <laughs> just a few other things of like, you know, in terms of, of showing the designs and talking about the products and stuff. And so a lot of that still resonates to me today, um, just with giving that to me is the most priceless gift. And I don't think we, even we knew back then that Softflex, um, Sarah, myself, the company would grow so close over time. Um, mm -hmm. And so that was like the most wonderful gift was his advice and just his time to develop someone else that he knew had potential. Mm -hmm. um, and I said, you know, that's one of the things I'll never forget. You know, he was so good with honesty. Like if you really wanted to know the truth, you ask Mike and he would tell you the unvarnished, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes harsh, sometimes a little softer and gentler, depending on his mood and, and your mood. Um, but he he always was really good with the truth and like being really honest with what he thought. And um, and he always really loved helping especially younger artists, 
get moving. Um, and he was very good at spotting talent. And of course, you are an amazing talent. Um, and I knew the minute I saw Nile at Beat and Button, I knew we were going to be friends. And um, I was like, this, it's just, we are friends. And I think a lot of people have that same reaction with you, Nile, because you're just so um, easy to get along with, easy to be with, and just such like a wonderful human being. Um, but I still like to think our friendship is extra special. Um, and <laughs> it is, absolutely. Um, okay, so I'm going to uh, let you flip your camera and we'll get going on this project. Um, while you're doing that, quickly, I'm going to check and see how many giveaways we have. <gasps> We're up to 71. We're up to 71. We need to get all the way up to at least 175. He can't let Sam beat him. Like, what in the heck? Oh, no. I feel like Jill <laughs> probably is okay to, like, it's okay if she wants to beat me. I'm not happy about it, but she can. But yeah. we got to definitely <laughs> bring we it up from the worst can do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's also a force to be reckoned with. So if I came in third place, I, I still would not be mad. But here's the deal. like, and, and the truth is that you've just had a wonderful lineup of different designers from all paths of the craft world um, for this event. And so just to be a part of it is quite special. And, yeah, thank you, know, you for being just here. another way for... Yeah, it, it's absolutely my pleasure. It's just... And it's another way for us to work together. One more way. <laughs> Yay. Okay, so I'm going to quiet down in the background so you can teach. If I pop a question on the screen, will you see it? Like um, this? Yeah, absolutely. For example, do oh, you see yes. that? Hi, Brenda. Absolutely, yes. It's a wonderful tribute to Mike. Oh, that, I mean, this is, a, this is a celebration for him. And um, it, it's a, it is for all of us. And life is so precious. And the Joanne people that we is, share it with. Or Joan is out there doing math. She's like, wait a minute, there are more people <laughs> watching than that. Get that hashtag Get in there. Hashtag. Joan if is a anyone she will hype can this. Cheerlead. <laughs> if anyone can cheerlead this on, it is our precious Joan Dice and also Teresa from the Silkies group. Um, those oh, two ladies know. have been amazing for for Silver Silk in every capacity. Totally. Um, okay, so. Many of you picked up a kit and I apologize. I had to deconstruct my other design because the one that I kept for myself kit wise, um, I sold it. <laughs> Someone was asking about it. And so I figured I could um, kind of work my way through this. But some of you might not know who I am. And um, other than just working with Sarah for years and years and Kristen and the Softlex team, um, I'm Neelay Patel. I have a company called Silver Silk and More. And it is a um, sole person operated company, meaning that I do everything from product procurement, product creation, all the way to distribution. And um, I'm even the accountant on some time, on some days. And I don't enjoy that job, but my favorite is just being able to tell you guys about the product that I make, which is this knitted wire jewelry chain. Um, it is a chain that's made on a machine and so it is hand uh, machine stitched with um, wire that's as thin as human hair and I've got seven or eight different lines of knitted wire chains the ones that were included in the kit are the capture chain which means that it's got a ball chain core running inside of the knitted sock so the machine essentially knits the wire and then it draws it over the ball chain and so you see a series of little beads that are attached and it becomes super soft super um supple it's very very luxurious looking and the wire is tarnish resistant resistant excuse me <clears throat> and you get a three foot spool um, by standard uh, measure in the store silversilkonline.com and um they, it comes in 20 this capture chain comes in 26 different color combinations um including the ball chain core even changing colors in some of them so 
Um, I wanted to show you guys how to use it for this project. And you will need a three foot spool of that. Um, you'll need some beads. And in this case, I had a bead mix of different gemstones and different types of glass beads uh, within the kit itself. But I know many of you also hoard Southflex Company's uh, monthly kits, which has beautiful bead mixes and other check glass in it. And so if you've never had the opportunity to use up all of your beads from each of those kits, and some of you might and some of you won't, um, this is a great project to use up those particular beads. And you can grab that chain from silversilkonline.com and use the beads from Softflex, um, as well as our beading wire, which uh, I'll get into here in a second. But I've just got a mixed combo of eight millimeter and um, you know all the way to about three, four millimeter size beads um, for this. And I guess I should have also thrown up a picture of the project, which I didn't. <laughs> do so you guys will have a surprise at the end of the finished project um i sort of have this split up into pairs because part of it will be used to create the asymmetrical length um and then part of it will be used for a tassel so i'm just going to give you a, a glance over of the beads but they're all just kind of split up as i mentioned and i'll talk about more of that later on um my findings you will need so within, again, the kit, you've got two nine millimeter terminators that look like this. And these don't have a hook at the top. They're actually polished right um, to a blunt end. And it is an open end cap, meaning it does have teeth on the inside that grasp onto the ball chain core of the capture and or pearlesque chain if you're using it. So the idea is you just kind of push it in there and then use a pair of wide nose pliers to flatten that crimp shut. Um, and I'll demonstrate that as we put our project together. These are called single strand end caps. You can tell that they're my end caps because they have the silver silk imprint on it. And these work the same as the terminators, except for it's got a loop at the top. So this just means that you can connect to, connect it um, or attach whatever you want to onto the end cap. Um, but it also has teeth on the inside and works exactly the same way. Again, I will demonstrate that here in just a bit. You will need some Softflex medium beading wire in your kit. You got a full 10 foot spool. Um, I'm using tanzanite, which is not a color that I've used super often, but I do absolutely love it. I think even to me, this color combination goes towards winter. And so using that light dusty blue with the silver just adds that dream winter touch to your wardrobe. Um, and so I won't be using the entire 10 foot spool for this project, but if you did grab the kit, you guys did get spoiled with a full <laughs> full spool there. And then you will also get some crimps from Softflex Company um, that look like this. You get 20 of them and we'll be using the majority of these crimps to put this together. And I'll show you some variations on what you can do. In fact, with the tassel bit at the end, um, in case you wanted to really use up all the crimps. <laughs> yeah, Jane says that wire color is gorgeous, isn't it though? I mean, I'm kind of feeling on some pastels lately too. I don't know if that's just the season. Okay, so let's work through the structure of this project because it really does heavily rely on the structure of how the knitted wire is put together. So if you received the full three foot spool, and um, for those of you who truly know who I am, you know that I will avoid putting a class on my designs wherever possible. <laughs> and so um, it's because it's I always forget to have it in my videos um, it, during my YouTube tutorials. And um, I try and find just simpler, clever ways of uh, making a no class necklace. But I'm going to fold it in half, but then I'm going to also stagger it just a little bit so that I've got maybe a two inch or so gap there at the bottom. And I'm going to create a little overhand knot. Just like that. Okay, the rest of this, you will just essentially throw on right over your, um, your head. And so you don't have to really worry about a clasp. It is adjustable in case you do want to, um, you know, have a little bit more wiggle room to put around your neck. 
Um, but the idea here is that you kind of want it to stagger ever so slightly as such. And what we're going to do is How also is dissect. Your piece? How long is your piece of sorry? How long is your piece of cording that you have right there? Oh, three feet. Okay, thank you. Three feet total. Yeah. So all I did was just fold it in half and then create a little overhand knot. Um, we are going to take this and we're going to dissect it. This will add roughly about um, three extra inches. No, actually it won't, just kidding. Because what we're gonna do is essentially replace three inches of this cord with some beadwork. So um, unless you really did want it to be longer, which you can do pretty easily, but I'm going to cut this. And if you do want it longer, all you would do is just extend this out as such, because we're gonna fill this up with beading. In fact, I would recommend doing this because it's gonna be easier to put on anyway. So just trim it off to where you have about two inches just above your overhand knot. And we're going to attach an end cap to this and an end cap to that. But we're gonna be attaching our beading wire to the end cap at the same time. So this is gonna be a little bit tricky. So just bear with me here. What I'm gonna do is grab some of the Softlex beading wire. I'm going to go up through that overhand knot that I made earlier. Whoops, let's drop this. Okay, just like that. And I'm going to grab a crimp. What this is gonna do, it's just going to start integrating the Softlex in with the design. And the good thing is you're not having to try too hard. So as far as tools goes, you'll need a pair of cutters. You're going to need a pair of flat nose pliers uh, or chain nose or um, bent chain nose pliers because all I'm gonna do is create a little flattened crimp here at the top. It's going to hide inside of the end cap and it does need to be flat um, for this part. We're gonna be using our magical crimpers on a different part. Okay, once I've done that, I'm going to grab both the silver silk that I cut earlier and the little flattened crimp, and I'm going to insert both of those into the single strand end cap as such. And if you're having a difficult time putting both of those in, you might need to open this up a little bit more. You can see how not so open that is. What you can do is grab a pair of tapered chain nose pliers, and I've got some here, and you simply put the tapered end into your end cap, and then you press out against the plier handles to make that crimp open up a little bit more. Okay, and then you could really see the teeth that are on the inside. And it should be a little easier to put all this stuff in there. Okay, once those things are in there, let's see if it go in a little more. Okay, once it's in there, as such, I'm kind of holding it in place. I'm about to bring this down just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to grab a pair of wide nose pliers. And this has been dipped in a product called Tool Magic, which sadly Softlex does not carry anymore. Um, but Sarah, shoot. are you, where are you guys? Oh, go ahead. <laughs> I said, shoot, I wish we carried it. It, it became too expensive um, for us uh, to carry. Yeah. Unfortunately. But it's pretty wonderful. Okay. You can probably still pick some up if you just Google it online. And maybe our friends like at the bead place or beads to live by or some of those beads or beadshop.com um, that carry lots of different materials, they may have that available. That's and by a great the way, of advice for sure. Putting the crimp inside of this finding is blowing my mind. And I pulled out a bunch of stuff from my silver silk bag that you gave me in Tucson and I'm making along with you. Oh yay. Um, I can't Ooh. wait to see what you make with it. Me too. Yeah, I, I wanted to find a, 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 a 
Say what? I'm doing a fall vibe. Oh, right on. Yeah. It looks um, good. I was going to add to that of like, I wanted to find a seamless way to integrate silver silk and soft mm -hmm. legs like into the same design using its best features, which is to me, the draping. Mm hmm. Cool. I love it. Okay. Keep going. Okay. So I'm going to cut another piece of soft flex wire that is going to work around and I'm going to have to back off the camera here so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. Um, I'm trying to do the same thing, but I want a piece of soft flex going around the neck. So the idea here is to match up the length of this other end of silver silk and have it go through the knot and down over here. So it looks like I probably need about this much. And then I can kind of cut this off probably over here. Okay. And so the other side, I'm gonna do exactly the same once again. I'm going to crimp the end with a soft flex crimp of my beading wire. Just like that. And I'm going to grab an end cap. I'm gonna open it up more so I can stuff both objects in it. And I'm gonna try and stuff all of it into the end cap and then close it up once it's in there. But yeah, that tool magic just helps with um, keeping the finding from scratching as you're crimping over, over it. And it also um, protects the crimp from flying off into the other end of the room. <laughs> so it grips it pretty well as you're crimping it. Um, and then, yeah, so I've got now my two soft flex ends that are crimped, or my two silver silk crimps that are end, uh, crimped to soft flex wire. Why is that a mouthful? And I'm going to go down through the overhand knot so that basically it will kind of look like this, where you've got the overhand knot, and then you've got the two pieces of wire that are basically just running right through it. And you can kind of tighten this too if you want to. It'll stay pretty stable. Okay, so the the structure of our necklace is done. So now it's just a point of embellishing it. And to do that, I want to have a beaded something something over here, just to add that little bit of asymmetrical look to it. And then down here, we're gonna actually crimp our tassels and stuff. Um, so it's just a matter of grabbing some more soft flex wire. And I'm gonna grab some more crimps. Who all here loves asymmetry? Cause that's not everyone's cup of tea, but I sure do love making and challenging myself with some asymmetrical design. I love doing it with somebody who is skilled at it. Cause I wouldn't say I'm really skilled at asymmetry, but when you show me how to do it, that's super exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't blame you. I think I think that's um kind of a general approach with everyone's um take on it or not everyone's but most folks um because it's such a unfamiliar jewelry style perhaps and maybe they're not used to seeing it but you're a master it, at it. it. Well, you know, it's it is something that I enjoy doing and looking at but that's just it's because i'm an asymmetrical person <laughs> by heart um all right so i just used my magical crimpers and crimped some soft flex onto the end cap there <clears throat> and i'm going to now just create a nice little happy bead medley here with 
some stuff that was in the kit. Um, and I had sold out like within the hour, the original, like this blue colorway. So I put together another kit um, kind of at the last minute and ended up selling out of those two. So sadly, <laughs> um, those won't be replenished because that's the only materials I had at the time, but it could make a comeback. Some that point. would be fun. I think so too. I think uh, we're I really quite a small kit minimum next year, just to make sure that <laughs> somebody has like an extravagantly beautiful kit that they make enough of them. <laughs> yeah, totally. I well, it's and it's truly my fault because it would have been so easy to also advertise and sell more kits at this point, but I just did not have it in me. <laughs> I didn't have it you're prepared. So, you're so busy, Nile. I mean, we get it. We all get it. It's been a little nuts. It's been a yep. little nuts. But I'm looking forward to having my own place back here soon. <gasps> Ooh, and when? Do you have like kind of a deadline? I think it's going to happen in a couple weeks. And it, But it's been like yes. since June that I've been displaced. Oh, my gosh. Has it been that long now? It ha Yeah, it's been that long. <laughs> Uh, you can imagine how eager I am to just yeah. Just have more I bet your parents are eager you know. too. <laughs> yeah, we all are. It's a family affair. <sighs> all good stuff, though. All good stuff. Yeah. Um, there's no rhyme or reason to how I'm putting this together. I'm just kind of balancing out all of my different beads and stuff here. Um, I'm kind of a little bit heavy on the. Well, I don't know. I don't want to do another one of these. Did you launch your kit for TGBE Fall Fest? I did. And I also had a very limited quantity of that. And we're down to like smaller two digit numbers. Yeah. So that one would also be a really good one to pick up if you haven't already. Yeah. Go get that kit from Nilay because TGBE Fall Fest is coming up. October like 22nd and 23rd, I think. Something mm -hmm. like that. Very close. Very I'm also soon. doing, for those of you that are watching um, and wanted to order from Silver Silk and more, I'll like, I'll one up that purchase and I'll, I'll throw in a free um, mini grab bag for you guys that if you want to order the kit today from silversilkonline.com. Um, that one's a little, a good little kit to have just because it has different types of silver silk in it. Awesome. And no coupon code necessary. You just make a purchase today and I'll throw it in there for free. Wow. That's so generous. Thank you, Neelay. Yeah, my pleasure. Hmm, trying to decide what order to do my beads in. That's the tricky part. I know there's so many combinations uh, and the ways that one could do this, but I didn't think about it too too much. I just kind of started stringing and like seeing what felt good. If that feels a little unbalanced, I can always go back and kind of rework some of this, which I think I do want to do and balance it out a little more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm using a bead mix that we just launched for Fall Fest. It's um, the Harvest. Ooh. Mix. And I chose some copper colored uh, capture chain and copper soft. Yay. So I think it's going to look really pretty. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys can't go wrong with that combo. Do you think I you'll do all of this part. your big event that you did that one time in December again? I don't think it became um, any. I don't know. I need to visit Jill's warehouse and like pick up the order that I had put apart. Oh. <laughs> uh, did I tell you about that? So like. No, I did you make a big order? Well, I, I went and shopped around in her warehouse, which really just mm -hmm. meant I was uh, walking around with Kelly Sutton with a glass of champagne. And <laughs> this is legit. This is for real. Yes, and I, I was picking up hanks of things from her warehouse and she was just like, oh yeah, you could buy that if you want to or 
you know, this is the, uh, you might want to um, grab some stuff and let's like, just have boxes of stuff that was <laughs> barely unpacked. And I was like, I don't need Tucson. I just need Jill's warehouse. Yeah. Why are you going so far? <laughs> <laughs> I think and she's my neighbor. And I'm going to go buy I more just, stuff. I could not Oh gosh, I found all kinds of things. I definitely, I need to go back and coordinate with her. I know she's also a very busy lady, so I don't want to capitalize too much on her time. Um, <laughs> but I would like those beads. <laughs> <laughs> I have like the next two mystery boxes picked out. That's how many like things I found. Oh, that's awesome. How fun. Yeah. I want to, for sure. So really yeah, it's just. time with her yesterday. I saw part of it. It looked fun. I loved her design. Yeah. yeah, it's just been nice to spend time with all of my bead friends this week. I really, really appreciate everyone's friendship and love and just being able to be creative and has been really a blessing at this time. Aw. Yeah, it's nice to kind of take time out and these events are great because it does present a really good case and excuse to stop everything you're doing and let's come be together with some friends. Right. Now, if they want to get that, that item that you talked about earlier, they just place an order yeah. today and it will go in with their order. They don't need to do yeah, anything. You don't need a coupon code or anything. Um, I'll just drop it in for free and I had my parents pack these because they, they didn't have anything else to do. And I was like, let me put you to work. <laughs> <laughs> this is the handy thing about moving into their house is you can be like, here you go. Do all this and this. I know, yeah. I, I feel like they should come visit me often as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just give them some more work. <laughs> that might keep them away. <laughs> Oh, no. Yeah. Can't have them. that. <laughs> I'll offer free food that I can cook. <laughs> oh, they, I'm sure they make good food for themselves. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Okay. So here's what I did um, so far. I've added yeah. a little asymmetrical length to my beaded portion here. And um, I didn't cut away any of the silver silk. I just trimmed it off and scooched it up. So really, what was a three foot spool is now three foot and about five inches extra. And so you're gonna have a pretty good necklace rope to be able to go around your neck. And then the bottom part is all fun tassels that we are going to put together. Okay, so let's start with the terminators because that's kind of the other integral part of doing this here. Um, same process as earlier, just have a little end cap with teeth, but it doesn't have a loop on the, the end. All you do is you just push that, that capture chain right into the end cap, grab your wide nose pliers that have been dipped in tool magic and just give it a good press, good squeeze. I'm gonna do that to both of them. like that. And now we have these two strands of soft flex wire that we can decorate however we want to. Um, in the original picture, which I thought I had up, um, give me two seconds here and I can show you. I vaguely remember what the pattern looked like, but my memory these days is just terrible. Workshops. Here we are. So at the bottom of this particular pattern, or one of the tassels, I had this beautiful hex cut stone that I have no idea what it is. I think it's lace, some sort of a blue lace agate or something. I picked it up in Tucson and I shop with a blindfold, not really knowing what it is that I'm picking up, but I know that I must have it and show people in life what I picked up. <laughs> Um, but it's so pretty. And so I included one of those in the kits. And then I've got 
um, a series of these little beads that kind of go on top as such. And then some tassels at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is actually string this on first to one. It doesn't matter which one you're actually stringing it on to. They're both going to be radically different anyway. Okay, and you can put a crimp at the top if you want to of your beads so that it kind of stays all in place. Um, and in fact, I might as well go ahead and do that because it's going to be a cleaner finish. Okay, let's string all of those off. Okay, I'm going to string a crimp on. One thing you might want to continue to pay attention to is where this um, capture chain overhand knot is staying because I want all of my tassels to be staggered whenever you wear this. And so right here, I've got everything kind of laid out on the table of where it needs to be. And so I'm just keep, keeping a close eye on it. And in order to really have this crimp stay where it's supposed to, I'm going to string a second piece of soft flex through it. And I'm gonna use my magical crimpers to create a round crimp in place. The more meat you have in the ravioli that you make with the magical crimpers, the better the crimp will turn out. And by meat, I mean soft flex. <laughs> in case you're Great. Or look at that. Okay, so I've almost got it. And I'm just gonna trim off the extra. There we go. So now whenever I string on my beads, it will be held in place and won't slide everywhere. And now I'm going to string on a crimp, but here's where it gets a little tricky because I want to put in multiple strands of soft flex. So I'm gonna grab a little extra piece of soft flex wire and fold it in half. Doesn't matter the length at this point. Oh, Joan says pipe chain is very versatile. I didn't even cut it to use down and use it as beads or spacers. Yes, one of the lines of silver silk that I'm quite proud of and got to have every hand in inventing it. I took over the company, so I did not invent silver silk. I just made it better over time. So much better. <laughs> no, Nile actually met, and I was there the day that Nile first saw Silver Silk. Yes, strange. That's a true story. We have, this was another episode of our JTV travels. <laughs> yeah, I was there when he first fell in love with this product that has seriously changed his life. Isn't it funny how it can just be a normal day and a normal interaction? And then it can send your life on a whole new direction. Trajectory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just so, so funny. And then you look back and you see it and think, oh, what the heck? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that one little interaction led to me working with the then owners of it. And we had developed a relationship over time. And I think even Kristen knew about them. Yeah. Um, she had done but it was. Work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was it was just it was unbelievable how it ended up falling into my hands. But you know, with businesses, you can either take it one way or the other. And luckily, like I had enough friends and tools in the industry where, like, it it would have not failed anyway. Yeah, like I had everything I needed going for me. Um, yeah. With you know you guys helping me on the on, in the helm of it all too so always appreciated that help. so well i crimped within the single crimp two other strands and so i got this beautiful little flourish of extra beading wire that i can use as tassel so i'm going to string on a series of miscellaneous beads which i have here and so you can kind of just make up your own pattern here. I've got a lot of these little mini crystals and um, I'm going to string on, you know, one of these 
gemstone beads or a couple of them. And I'm gonna give myself an inch of space and then try and crimp here at the end for all three of them. So I'll need some more crimps. I'm gonna pour them some out there. And I'm gonna eyeball it right about there string on my crimp and then to do the end here i i think i learned this from you or kristen as far as just giving a nice like tapered finished end is just to make a little like baby loop there at the bottom and then using my magical crimpers to make it into a spacer and correct me if i'm wrong but you can string up to or uh, crimp up to four strands within the same crimp of this medium size? I think that's more. right. Yeah, I think that's I think okay. that's correct. Now the diameter of the wire and the diameter of the crimp tube can vary from batch to batch. So every mm -hmm. once in a while you might get a little bit of a thicker version that's you know 0 0.01 um oh 0.019, you know, one instead of 0 0.0199 because it rounds to the same number. So sometimes that'll vary, but usually four strands is good. Gotcha. Okay. Um, and that's where if you didn't want three over here, then you could put four, I suppose, if it'll um, if it'll work and fit there. Are we beating on that second strand coming out of the knot too? Yes. Yeah. This will all be tasseled up too. Okay. And yeah. in a that's similar. That's why I saved this big old. Mm-hmm. Yep. You got it. Okay. I'm going to start working. I still was doing my ends. I didn't have a terminator end, but I had these little, uh, like, bead cap ends. So I was able to make oh, that. Oh, okay. It took me a little longer to figure it out. So now I'm moving on to my tassel part here. Sweet. Okay. I need to send some terminator. The, the thing is, I hardly use them myself in projects, and so I never really advertise them. <laughs> Totally. Um, but this was a good project, a good excuse to do that. Yeah, no, they look great. They look really lovely. You had given me a different kind of ending and it worked fine. It just took a little bit of finessing. Oh. Um, so now these two ends are just going to have beads. I'm not securing them somewhere in this knot or anything else before I just start adding beads to them. Um these two ends meaning the two the wires uh, uh, yeah. they just kind of hang oh, the beading right? wires yeah 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 sorry okay it should look like a loop on one side right and right. then when you get the two like it'll be secured and just kind of hanging off not secured but it'll just be hanging off with the tassel okay got it Okay, just do a little bit of beating with this stuff, trying to get my flow here of what beads I want. Okay, that looks really good to me. Okay, I'm just kind of eyeballing and marking it in place and throwing on my crimp. And there we go. It's a little short, so I'm going to fix that. There we go. So I'm just going to use my match. I used to be afraid to use these, and then over time, I've like really mastered it. <laughs> It does take some practice, but once you get it, yeah. they're really handy. I love it. And you know, the thing is, I always say the crimping method is just, for me, it's like depending on the design, because stuff mm -hmm. like this, I want to use a magical crimper since it looks like part of the beadwork. But then if, you know, I'll use my regular crimpers for other stuff too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no nothing wrong with any of the options. You know, Kay was using um, the other ones on her.
program, we were calling it Taco Tuesday because she was making crimp tacos. <laughs> and ravioli. Um, but yeah, there's, there's absolutely no reason not to use the others. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a really funny week. That's, oh, that's just great. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> still cracking up. Um, I am creating a crimp with a second beading wire here on the other side. I'll lay it down and show you guys what I'm doing. And the the idea here is just to replicate what I did earlier for the tassel that I have created. So we will trim that. I shall trim this off and there we go. So I've staggered it. I'm gonna have this lay a lot more, um, a lot further down than the one I made earlier so that I get all of these different layers happening uh, as you can see. And so my bead will hit right about there. So whenever I string on my crystal and these guys, and this blue jade um it'll be about right there and then my tassel will just flow right underneath it <clears throat> so i'm going to take my scrap piece of wire and trim it in half Ooh, joan's still on it did everyone key hashtag softflex wire into the chat yet y'all come on it's it's a competition between me and sam we're up to i'm already saying that jill won and there are more than 132 people watching right now oh, so okay. make sure you get that hashtag softflex wire stick around to the end to see if you're the winner um you must be present to win also the prizes you guys give away is pretty awesome i mean what we talk about a generous company you know, we've given away a lot of prizes this week. I think t poor Terry in the office is like, um, are you going to keep giving away everything? <laughs> 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 Here comes another well, prize. Don't sell anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. It's customer appreciation week. So we want to show our appreciation for everybody who hangs out here live with us and supported all of our friends by buying their kits and um and just mm -hmm. generally all of our customers in general are the best so i'm gonna make sure I'm they know it okay i'm just tasseling it up with the last one here um so it might take a few minutes but the idea here again is just to make the same thing happen and so this is where it's gonna be. This, this project is quite crimp heavy and so you'll get quite a bit of practice crimping. Not a bad thing, and especially if you are not used to using the magical crimpers, perhaps this is the project that might be the one that changes your mind about using it constantly. Yeah, they're pretty nice. What a pretty project this is, Delay. It's so lovely. Aw, thank you. I'm pretty proud of this one. I mean, there's a few that I've created in my catalog of work that I look back and I'm like, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? No, there's none. This one is, you always oh, have maybe. Yeah. I'm quite a weird perfectionist. I, it's like everything, there's projects that I love more than others. Let's put it that way. Well. <laughs> That's but true this one's definitely us. a winner in my book. Yeah, this is a good one. I have a long lariat that you made at your, I think you had a customer appreciation event. And um, mm -hmm. and I wear it all the time. I love that necklace. It's Aww. so pretty. Do you remember whenever I had come out with the Softflex, like, and it was like Softflex, it was a Softflex book but it had sort of my style integrated with bead weaving. Yeah, that's when I met you. 
Yeah, yes. that's the first like, thing all I of saw, those designs. saw that book first. And I thought, who is this guy? Because it was so, <laughs> um, It's be they were beautiful designs. Um, it was so extremely complicated, though. So complicated. <laughs> and um, just, just gorgeous. And I was like, who is, I have got to meet this person. And then you came up to I the was... booth at Beat and Button, and I was like, there he is. This is him. <laughs> and now we're I was such story. a baby to the scene at that time, because it was my first or second time at Beat and Button. I think it was my first time. Um, back when it were, when, when it was a thing. And yeah, I mean, the rest is history, but I, I think, you know, my original point was like, I, my designs have sort of, well, they've simplified over time. Um, and so some of that stuff that I had created in the past, it was definitely a little more progressive in terms of its concept and execution, but I think it was a little ahead of its time. Um, yeah, for the it's a little bit more um, Phil Wiseman-like in some ways, or, yes. You know, it's interesting. It's interesting how we go through phases too. You know, maybe you'll return to loving bead weaving at some point and do a bunch of projects. I kind of I went backwards. <laughs> I feel like I know, I went right? From being an avid bead weaver to then um, settling on instant gratification of stringing. <laughs> <laughs> because life is short, right? <laughs> it is. It's too short. It's too short for sure. Well, this is so pretty. I love how mine turned out. It's different than yours, obviously, but still really, really fun. Ooh. So remember, guys, if you are ordering from silversilkonline.com, you don't need a um, code or anything. You can grab uh, stuff from the store and grab, well, I'll put this in your, um, package. I'm out of words for today. My goodness. I think I need a <laughs> quick sip of water. Here, I'm um, going to go here and we can see. We oh, oh my gosh. gosh, look at you. Isn't that fun. It's got the little mm -hmm. the boo spot and then I just I love that. This, and I ended mine with a cap and a bead. So if you do not have the finding uh, and cap finding because you did not get the kit. There are other options for finishing off the end and having it still look really, really lovely. You could do a tassel, um, you could do a drop, you know, there's lots of other fun options um, to try out. So fun, Miwe. Yay, look at that. Just, uh, it's, you know, I'm sporting the same thing. Very elegant. I really like Fun. it. You did a good job. I love job. this. I love this design. I think I need to do more kits with this, and I think I need to release them at a future <laughs> Great Beat Extravaganza event. I was just gonna say maybe the winter one would be a good time mm -hmm. for that. Well, um, if you haven't gotten Neelay's kit for the Great Beat Extravaganza, it sounds like it is available now in his shop, which is SilverSilkOnline.com. And um, you can also just buy some capture chain like I did and get some of the endings and get a package of Jesse James beads from the Sofix Company website and marry them together. I used the Harvest Moon bead mix that just came out Wednesday. It goes with our customer, or no, it goes with our TGBE Fall Fest kit, which also came out. It's a Harvest Moon theme. Um, and, and the Jesse James bead mix and bead strand are being sold separately. So grab those. There's lots of colors in the capture chain. So if you wanted to do more of a fall version, you can do that by putting it together in your own colorway. I was also looking at a dark blue that would be really pretty for fall. Um, mm, but there's yeah. lots of colors. So go through Neelay's website and kind of take a look at all those different options. And I'll take a picture of mine and post it. Um, on our Softflex Instagram page too, so you guys can see 
a, another variation made with just things I had here. Um, and of course I have silver silk, but you buy the silver silk and then use some beads that you've got in your, in your bead stash. And you don't need a ton that match each other either because it's asymmetrical. So as long as they have like a color coordination, you'll be good to go. I'm using my Beyonce fan. I started to get heated up. <laughs> I was wondering, I was like, where's my fan? Oh wait, I've got one down here. Although I don't think you're gonna be able to see it happening to my <laughs> short hair. But let's see if I can. Every um, once in a while there, yeah. Doesn't it feel good? My it husband's does. always like, why do you like a fan blowing in your face? And I'm like, it just feels nice. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> It feels good. I just feel just like Beyonce walking down the the stage. Fear. <laughs> I guess all I right, just need well, a wig with all the hair, and then I can have that effect too. <laughs> Mele has recently joined Whatnot, which is a live shopping app. He won't be there all the time, but every once in a while, he'll be popping in and doing a live sale there. Um, and we're coordinating a few of us to do live sales on Fridays. So if you haven't downloaded that app, I hope you'll download it. Go in and follow Softflex Company, follow Silver Silk, follow The Bead Place, follow Bedoria. Who am I missing? Follow Christy Friesen. Um, yes. Soon, beadshop.com possibly, and Jill McKay. So we got, we've got a nice group of friends and we'll be doing trains. So it'll be several hours and it'll be different every week. You won't know who is going to be there until that week. And then we will be posting it so that you can um, join the train and check everything out. Thank you for saying that, Catherine. Oh, let me get back to you. It says, Whatnot is an awesome app. Um, Tammy did mention it's very dangerous for your bank account. <laughs> so, <laughs> there's a lot of shopping. It is a live shopping app. So be have your bank account prepared to, for that, for sure. <laughs> but yeah, it's a lot there's of a fun. Lot of stuff we I was just gonna add, there's like, there's a lot of stuff because I do a similar thing that's um, on my website, but it's not live sale. It is like personal curated items, but the live sale, I can show it off in person that the picture just never really is going to pick up on. And it's like one to two things of items. Like it's not, I don't have quantity on stuff and it's sometimes just stuff that I found in Tucson that I wanted to hoard for a little while, but then I need to get my nest cleared for more hoarding later for other <laughs> stuff that I find. So I need to sell all that other stuff. <laughs> totally. I'm going to look at the dates for TGBE on my calendar right now. Preview night is Friday, the 20th of October. And then the show is the 21st and the 22nd. Neela and I are both on the 21st on Saturday, but there are uh, folks going all weekend long. It's so much fun. Um, so I, I always tell people just block off the whole weekend and come hang out. There's live giveaways, there's sales, there's new products being dropped. Each, each person who does their presentation will do it a little bit differently and you won't know what to expect and it will be exciting and fun. So I hope you will come hang out with us. Join the Great Beat Extravaganza Facebook group to learn more about that event as we get closer and closer. So many talented artists at TGBE. I couldn't agree more. Thank you, Joan. Mm -hmm. And I love yeah. that we feature now a, a guest during each cycle. I know, yeah. We haven't said who the next guest is yet. I'm like really dying to say it. Should we just say it? I'm a bad secret keeper. Do we have to keep it a secret? I know you are. No, we better, we should respect the other group. And uh, and I think we should have people coming into the Great Beat Extravaganza Facebook group to, to reveal the secret there. I guess you have to join <laughs> the group to find out the secret. And then I'll go on the chat and start hassling everyone for us to get the secret out. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, Kristen told me, and I think I know from personal experience too, you're not good about keeping the secrets, so. <laughs> I'm not good at secrets. I don't like secrets. They're not my thing. <laughs> I'm, yeah, not my thing. Everyone's yeah. encouraging me to spill it. No, it's going to be a great guest, though. I'll say that. A yeah, really but join the group because I think we're gonna we're gonna do a bigger reveal there um, here shortly once they get some once we get some graphic design put together. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, you're yeah. the hold up. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah, it's on me. It's on me right now. <laughs> okay, I think we're ready to do our giveaway. So let me grab that onto my screen. Giveaway. How many did we get, Nile? A hundred and forty-six. Uh, that's still a ooh, lot. That's still a that lot. That is so many. Yeah, so good. We are doing two giveaways today at Neela's Hour. So I'm going to draw the first giveaway winner. Make sure you comment right away and let us know you're still here. If you're still here, you'll win the prize. If you left and you come back later, so sorry. You had to be here. Lisa, Lisa on Facebook. Let us know Aww, that you're hi, still Lisa. here and what you're going to do is email info at softlexcompany.com. Let them know you won during Neelay's show and that you and a 10-foot spool of our softlex beading wire in our purple amethyst color. Delish. What? Love that color. Is she here? <gasps> Yes. Congratulations, Lisa. Make sure you email us. Here comes winner number two. Who's it going to be? Who is it going to be? I love how it slow turns at the end. I know. I'm like, is it that person? Who is it? Norma, Norma Frank from... on YouTube. But Norma, are you still here? And you will also win a 10-foot spool of softlux beading wire in purple amethyst. Email info at softlexcompany.com to claim your prize. Make sure you give them your shipping address. Otherwise, they're just going to email you back and ask where to ship it. So just put it right in your email and let them know. There she is. Hi, Congratulations. Well, Neela, I'm sad this is over. I could just hang out with you for hours. <laughs> Let's do it in Tucson. Are you coming to Tucson? Oh, hell yeah, I'll be. Oh, good. I'm going to be in it's touch with everyone with about another secret plan. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm privy to this one. So, so many secrets. Be so um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. So we, I'll be in touch with you about that. Um, one last thought. Oh, are you coming to the after party today? Um, I'm going to try. Few. Just for try. a few. I've got a few things to wrap up, so I'll do my best to be there. Okay, that sounds good. Thank you That's for your time. happening in an hour, isn't it? Yeah, about that. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank okay. you for your time today. Everybody, click like and heart on this video to let Nile what a good job. No, Nile know what a good job he did on his beautiful necklace. Please go shop at his website, which is Silver Silk Online.com. And if you need anything extra, like Softlex crimps tools, um, bead mixes, go on over to softlexcompany.com. And don't forget, we have our free pouch. Let me grab it. Oh my God, that's cute. Three on orders over $99 at softlexcompany.com. Isn't it cute, Mila? I'm going to send you one. Look at how nice it is. It has some goodies in it. It's really thick and strong, so it can hold tools. And it has Kristen's unique. I was going to say the Chris Kristen's artwork alone is priceless. It's so pretty. So it turned pretty. out even better than I could have imagined. So we've got those going out free if your order is over ninety nine dollars at softlexcompany.com. It's at over fifty dollar value inside. We have about six presenters who sent things for it. So not everybody, but we do have a pretty good amount of things, like a $20 gift certificate from Design and Adorn, a free bead mix from Danielle Wicks. 
We've got beads from Abby Bird at the Bead Place. We've got some really lovely stuff, um, full strands from Beads to Live By and Just Beat It, some goodies from Softlex. So it's just a nice mishmash of things, and I hope you guys will check that out. And I think that's it. You can find that at softlexcompany.com and everything from Neele at silversilkonline.com. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with us.